Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The scandal swirling around Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein has moved from the tabloids to the political pages tonight, and for good reason. There's no debate about Weinstein's behavior, no gray areas or room for conflicting interpretations. According to a new account in The New Yorker magazine, at least 13 separate women claim that Weinstein sexually assaulted or harassed them between 1990 and 2015. Four say he masturbated in front of them. Three accuse him of rape. Weinstein hasn't denied any of it. Indeed, The New Yorker has released tape in which he apparently confesses. I'm telling you right now. What do we have to do here? Nothing. I'm going to take a shower. You sit there and have a drink. Water. I don't drink. Uh, and can I stay on the bar? No. You must come here now. No. Please. No, I don't want to. I'm not doing anything with you. I promise. I know. You're embarrassing I me. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't cannot. come here. No, yesterday was a kind of aggressive for I me. Know. I, I need to know a person to I be touched. I won't do a thing. I don't want to. Everything, please. I swear I won't. Just sit with me. Don't embarrass me in the hotel. I'm here all the time. I'm feeling very uncomfortable right please now. Please come in now and one minute. And if you want to leave, when the guy comes with my jacket, Why you can go. you touch my breast? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Come on. Are you used please. to that? Yes, come in. Not all accusations of sexual harassment are real. This one is. But the bigger scandal is the reaction to it, or the lack of reaction, Harvey Weinstein isn't just a movie producer, he's a political figure on the left, a major donor to the Democratic Party, a personal friend to countless liberal activists and politicians, all of which helps explain why the reaction from self-described defenders of women has been so muted. For the days after the story broke, Democrats in Hollywood and Washington seemed to freeze, unsure of what to say, hoping the whole thing would just die down and go away. It hasn't. Those actors who lecture you from the Oscar podium every year about their virtue and your lack of it, suddenly silent. Hillary Clinton traveling on a book tour whose whole purpose is to call out sexism in American society. She said not a single word about her old friend Harvey Weinstein for five full days. The truth is, Weinstein could never have gotten away with any of this without enablers like Hillary Clinton and the rest of the so-called creative community in Hollywood. They knew about his behavior. It was common knowledge in that world. The New York Times came close to running a story about Weinstein's harassment more than a decade ago, but pulled back at the last minute under political pressure, which tells you a lot. None of this was a well-kept secret. It now seems clear that hundreds of people knew or suspected what Weinstein was doing, but stayed silent about it. That should not surprise us because it is hardly the first time it's happened. Director Roman Polanski raped a child and fled the country, but that didn't stop him from getting work in Hollywood, nor did it stop Hollywood from giving him an Oscar for Best Director in 2003. A few years later, Harvey Weinstein himself led a petition asking the authorities to cut Polanski a break. That petition was signed by more than 70 prominent Hollywood figures. Meanwhile, Woody Allen has been dogged by sexual abuse allegations for decades, but that's done nothing to slow his steady output of films starring Hollywood's top actors. Once again, one of Woody Allen's biggest defenders was, take a guess, Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein told the LA Times in 1994 that Allen's scandals were basically irrelevant because he was, quote, a comic genius. Now, isolated incidents happen, but this is a trend. Sexual abuse is epidemic in Hollywood. The people in charge have covered it up and made excuses for it, in each case protecting the powerful from the powerless and the abused. It is time for the federal government to get involved. The Department of Justice should launch an immediate investigation into Hollywood's culture of systematic sexual abuse. There's ample precedent for this. Under the Obama administration, the Department of Education launched more than 300 investigations into schools across the country, ranging from Harvard all the way down to Cisco Junior College. All of them sought to expose and punish schools it said violated federal law by enabling cultures of sexual harassment and assault. The Department of Defense, meanwhile, has spent years trying to root out sexual assaults in the armed services. When Jerry Sandusky's crimes were exposed at Penn State, the federal government launched not one, but two investigations into the failure of the school to discover and report his abuse. For years, Democratic senators have taken the lead in condemning institutional sexual abuse. They've held hearings, press conferences, issued statements. Now, because one of their own donors has been accused, they are silent. But there's no reason this ought to be a partisan issue. Democrats in Congress say they care about women. Now we'll see if they mean it.